Hey guys, welcome back. PK here. Woo. Early morning. Another cold day on the Oregon coast. Um, today we're going to try to catch some surf perch and we are going to do a little cooking at the end. So another catch and cook and uh, hopefully they cooperate today. The swell condition is looking good for surf fishing. It is about two to four feet and uh, hardly any wind right now. Uh, the wind's supposed to pick up to around six, seven miles per hour, which is fine. That's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, the surf looks really good. Well, let's just set up and uh, get out there. All right, guys, I am setting up. Using a two ounce weight and number two hooks. Really simple setup. Usually I hear that surf being pretty rough, pretty loud. But today's swell is just perfect, two to four feet. I love it. And that's that's actually the condition I look for when when surf fishing is uh, two to four feet, two to five feet, six, seven seconds. That's just really nice. And another good thing is the tide's coming up, so that's another really good condition. The tide's coming up, and it's gonna be high tide about I think about nine something about 920 today so somewhere around there I'm just baiting up right now putting on these shrimp these shrimp catch those surf perch they're really uh, they're really effective okay guys there's my rig uh, I got three hooks on I have a high low rig and two ounce weight all right man let's go catch some surf perch here we go folks Oh man, what a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Just check out the color. Check out the color on the horizon. Isn't that awesome? It's just beautiful. Reddish pink. Sunrise on the Oregon coast. Man. People don't know what they're missing. This is a beautiful, beautiful coast. So nice, so beautiful. I love it. I love what I do. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a fish, guys. Oh, there's a hit. There's a hit. I, I was slow. That was a hit. And I'm just casting out there, not very far at all. And I'm reeling in their, uh, those, those surf perch are right in the suds. What a beautiful day. That was a good hit too. I was just slow. Let's try that again, buddy. Come on. Oh, there's another hit. Dang it. Oh, there's one. There's one, guys. He feels pretty small. He was really close to shore too. There we go. It's a little guy. Well, we'll keep him. There we go. First fish of the day. First cast. Not first cast. Uh, second cast. He's a little one, but I'm going to keep him. Alright guys. My first Sir Perch of the day. Right there. He's a little one, but I'm going to keep him anyways just in case I don't catch one later on because I want to I wanna cook today. I'm going to cook right here on the beach. So there we go. That's a male too. Perfect. That was the uh, second cast. Man, these are, like, these are like the crappie of the ocean. Check that out, man. I love the pink fin, pink tail. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Really like them. They're pretty awesome beautiful beautiful fish but since we're gonna keep them we gotta you know knock them out and bleed them um, because we want to keep the meat fresh oh oh there's a hit guys there's another one Woo! heck yeah love it and I'm catching these fish pretty close to shore 
They're not far at all. My bait was to my left. He was like pretty close to shore. Up here in the in the suds. Oh, it's a little guy. There we go. It's about the same size as the last one. We're gonna keep him though. All right, guys. So check out this sandworm. See that right there? That is a sandworm. That is what the uh, fish eat. That's their uh, natural food right there. That make good bait. Let me show it to you guys. Right there, see that? He is alive too. I've used these before, they work really well. Um, but I got I got bait already, uh, so I don't I'm gonna put him back. You do find these on the beach, but they're kinda kinda rare. Um, I know you can find them on like rocks, but this one was right on the beach. All right. There he goes. That's perch bait. So as you can see, guys, my bait is pretty close. These waves coming in, that's where my bait is. A little bit to my left. These surf perch, oh, there's one. I told you, see that? See that, guys? They come really close to shore. I told you. I said it's right there, and he bit it. They're not far at all. They come in the feed and there's a lot of like, like I showed you the sandworms. They're in the surf and uh, also the sand crabs. There's another one right here. There we go. I'm gonna keep him again, a little guy. All right, there we go guys, there's another one. These are not very big at all. but they will do. Um, Sometimes I use these for crab bait too, they work really well. Although the seals really go after it, but these surf perch are really close to shore. The waves that are crashing right in front of you, they're, they're right there, they're not very far at all. They like to run up close, they like to run up the beach and uh, feed on the sandworms and the sand crabs. So it just goes to show you, you don't have to cast very far to get these guys. They taste really good, they taste really good. So I got three right off the bat. Um, for about 15 minutes, not too bad, let's keep going. Hopefully the big ones come in. All right guys, so I'm gonna make my cast just like this. That's probably about 50 to 70 feet out there. And I'll just slowly reel in. You don't have to reel in very fast. What I do is I just reel in and then pause. Reel in and then pause. That's always been my method. It works really well. Where the waves are crashing in the white stud. That's where they're at, that white foam. They are definitely on a small size today. So my bait is over there to my left. It's probably about one and a half foot of water. And when you, when you cast and you don't get a bite, you can also do a fan cast, which is you cast out, and then a next cast, a little bit like 11 o'clock and then 10 o'clock, and same thing over here, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So, just kind of fan cast and uh, try to locate where they're at. So I'm gonna move a little bit to the right. I'm gonna move about uh, probably about 50 feet to the right. And we'll just uh, leapfrog every 50 minutes if we don't catch anything.
really calm swell today. This is perfect condition for uh, surf fishing. And I don't like it too calm. You want a little bit of uh, wave action right here when you get the waters churning. Usually that's where, that's where they're at because uh, when the waves crash on the beach, it stirs up a lot of food debris for them to feed on. Get it? Oh, I got it. There we go, guys. No? Oh, yeah, there's one. There's one right there. He's a better one. He's a better one, guys. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, he's a big one. There we go, right there, guys. Big perch, big perch. Oh man, finally got a big one. Awesome looking red tail, how about that? I love it. Okay, so this one, we have a, we're gonna have a good catch and cook. I probably won't cook this one. Well, maybe I will. I'm thinking maybe I'll save the little one for the crab bait. But yep, that's how you do it guys. If you don't catch anything in one spot, just kind of move a little bit. All right, guys, here we go. Bigger fish, bigger surf perch right there. Beautiful, huh? Very, very awesome. Okay, come on, buddy. Oh, they took one of my shrimp. Awesome. So, definitely have enough for a catch and cook. Alright guys, so that was definitely a decent one. Let's cast out there again. Oh, there we go. I took it the first time I missed it, but he came back for it. Came back for seconds. Usually that don't end up well for them. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Another fish, guys. Look at that hook set, man. Right below, these, right below that jaw. Perfect hook set. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll give it a couple more casts. Try to get another big one. I think once you get another big one, uh, I'll call it a day. So, let's do it. Just want another big one? Just one big one. There's a bigger one right here. I think. Oh, that's a good one. That's another good one. Right there, guys. Look at that. Good size. Good size right there. That's the perch we want. All right.
Okay. No bite within the last three casts. So I'm gonna fan cast. I'm gonna go to my left about 10 o'clock. Right over there. Way, way to the left. And I got one. I got one. Just like that, guys. See it? You got a fan cast. That is how you do it, man. Oh, he's a good one. That's how you do it. Fan cast. A really good trick. If there's nothing in front of you, then try your left, try your right. Yeah, there's one. He's coming in. <laughs> He's a little guy. He's a little guy. There we go. Just like that. Casting to my left. Good hook set. Couple more cats, we'll call it a day. So that last fish I got uh, fan casting to my left. So I'm gonna fan cast to my right. Most likely the my bait's gonna swing this way because of incoming high tide. So I cast it. Oh, that's a hit. I just had a hit, I didn't know it. Another hit, guys. Another fish. Nope. I thought I had one on. I definitely had one on that time. I missed it. Oh, just like that! You guys see that hit? That hit. You guys see that hit? That was cool. He's right out there. Oh, he's a big one. He's a better one, guy. He's a better one. I think. I feel big. Oh no, that's a big silver. Look at that. That's a nice size silver. He felt big too. I wonder if that's a double or the other one came off. That's a big silver. Oh, poor guy. Okay, we'll let him go. The little one though. The little one. I will take it. Actually, it's not bad. There we go, guys. Not bad at all. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go cook these fruit. There we go. Let's go cook these surf perch. Woo! All right, folks. So I got my rice cooking. Um, now I'm going to uh, clean the fish, and then we're gonna pan fry the fish. Whoa! Look at that. Woo!
Right, there's that. I have no tables, nothing. So with this fish, I am going to, I'm gonna clean the fish. All right, clean this fish, it's gonna be pretty easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by uh, cutting all the fins. So basically, I'm gonna cut off the pectoral fin and uh, the pelvic fin and the anal fin. And... Okay, so I got all the fins off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it. And to scale the fish, it's gonna be pretty easy. Just gonna get a knife and uh, work backward a little bit, not too hard. And then the scale comes right off just like that. See it? Really easy. It's easy to clean these fish. Let's check my rice. Doing good. We're gonna stir it a little bit. There. All right, back to cleaning fish. Same thing the other side. Okay, so there's my fish. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take scissors. Whoop. And I'm gonna go behind the uh, back here. And I'm gonna cut this way. Basically, I'm going to fillet it and I'm gonna have two fillets. There we go. My rice is still doing good. I'm gonna get some paper towels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off the black stuff. I'm not sure what that is, you guys know? I'm working against the wind here. I gotta hurry, because the wind's gonna pick up. All right, I got my perch here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna fillet it. I have no s surface to work on. Oh yeah, not bad. <laughs> there we go. And uh, there's bone here in the belly cavity and then the pin bones run along here. So I'm just gonna shear it and then come back and then go down like this because all this is meat. There's no bone, okay? Same thing here. Okay, there we go. There's my other fillet. And here is the backbone. So we're gonna keep this for crab bait. Then we're gonna, we're gonna take the rest of the bone out. There we go. And then we're just gonna shear off that pin bone and then come down here and go that way. There we go, a little small fillet. Same thing here. Okay, so nothing is wasted. All that bone, all that meat there that I cut away, we're gonna use it for crab bait. But that's, that's all we want right there. We have two good fillets. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate it with just seasoning sauce sorry seasoning salt and then we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper all right i got my cayenne pepper right here i got my seasoning salt here we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on the fish fillet there we go like that and then we're gonna do it to the other side because we have removed the scale from the fish like that and then then i'll add a little bit of cayenne pepper
Okay guys, here's my pan. I have a seven inch pan. It's just awesome, awesome pan, man. I love it. Uh, this is a MSMK and um, really nice. Perf it's perfect for catch and cook, seven inches. Put it right there and we'll add some olive oil next. There we go. I am racing against time here, guys. As the day gets older, the wind's gonna pick up and that will not be good. So the pan is pretty hot. All right, there it is. My pan is heating up. I got uh, olive oil in there and my rice is all cooked. Okay, my oil is pretty hot right now. So we are going to put in the fish. Let's get the stuff out of the way. Move this. Move that. Get the fish out of the way. Okay, I think we're good. All right, here's the first fillet. Here's a second fillet. Woo! And it's gonna curl. It always curls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with foil. Oh, that smells good, guys. We're gonna turn up the heat. Okay, so we'll go about five minutes and then we'll check it. Okay guys, so what do you think so far? Great day of surf fishing. Try to finish up by about 10.30. Get on out of here. Man, it is a chilly day, but it's a very nice day. Sun's finally out. Starting to feel a little bit warm. Oh man. There we go. It's a nice little, a nice little pan. I think my gas is almost out. I hear it sizzling. Well, let's check. Let's check actually. There we go. Almost there. Oh man, look at that. Delicious. Now, you wanna make sure you cook this thoroughly because there's uh, there's worms in these fillets. These perch have worms. So, cook it thorough, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. And there's my rice right there. Man, the swell is just perfect today. <coughs> perfect. This is what I like. Two to four feet. Not bad at all. If you guys are bringing kids out here, you want to be below four feet just to avoid sneaker waves. Let's check the uh, fish. Woo! Oh man, oh man. Oh. Oh my goodness. Let me uh, take a photo of that because that is gorgeous. Yep, that's ready. That is ready, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat. Yep, that is all ready right there. Perfect, 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 delicious. Okay, let's turn off the heat. Okay, there we go, we'll lift that out of there. We will set this right here. We'll let that cool. Okay, I got my rice. Got my rice. I will pour some into the, onto the plate. Oh 
man, you guys. You guys, look at this. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh man, it's delicious. Delicious. That's it, pretty simple. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Time to eat. Ugh. Hmm. Wow. Oh, that cayenne. The cayenne kicked in at the end there. Yeah, the cayenne kicked in at the end. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, man. It's very, very simple, but it's very, very good. Oh my God, that skin. That skin is so good. Mm. You may find this hard to believe, but fish skin is really good, guys. Super good. Especially when you fry it, and it's all crispy like that. Oh, man. This is good. Mm. Really nothing fancy to it. Seasoning salt, cayenne pepper, olive oil, rice. Something about fresh seafood. Wow. Incredible. <clears throat> just incredible. We'll just wrap up here, guys. Okay, that's it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Had a great time out here and uh, we will definitely do it again so i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time have fun fishing tight lines